this is the india's net zero ambition 2017 so in cop 26 uh, our respective uh, prime minister has committed for 500 gigawatt non fossil fuel energy capacity by 2030 uh, 50% energy requirement uh, through renewables by 2030 we have already crossed around 40% uh, energy requirement uh, cut down net projected carbon emissions by 1 billion ton from now until 2030. Bring down carbon intensity of its economy, economy by more than 45% by 2030. And net zero target uh, or net zero emission target by 2070. So this is uh, India's ambition 2070. And uh, the focus on renewables, electricity, mobility, energy efficiency compensatory afforestation is going are going to play a very important role and will help india to move closer to net zero target the good thing is sebi has also recently made its mandatory for a top thousand listed companies uh, uh, to report their esg practices this would uh, ensure that all such companies make sure that they are sustainable in their practices and do not cause any environmental harm, including any emissions contributing towards global warming. ESG is a great tool to boost economic growth and it will minimize environmental cost and promote overall well-being. The shift to sustainability and the cost to move towards environment compliance is still a challenge in India, especially for the the small and medium enterprises. There is therefore a need to project the shift to sustainability as a long term opportunity rather than looking at short term costs. So we have to consider this as an opportunity, not as a short term cost. So net zero 